Hi there, I'm Robert Hammond. Uh, this is part two of a series of videos I'm doing titled uh, The New Age Religion and That Old Saviour Complex. The title of the name. Um, in the previous uh, video, I was just uh, towards the end of it discussing um, the uh, so called alternative um, media and how they were heavy into the whole alien, theorist, alien conspiracy theory uh, thing. Um, and I was going to say, they're not when you look at it, they're not really alternative. Um, some of them may have started out with honest, honest intentions and then become slowly, steadily wrapped up in the whole thing um, without realising it. And they kind of got themselves into kind of like a, a, a cult-like fixation with it. Uh, and others would maybe have been mainstream to begin with. Or, you know, they could have saw a, a, an honest alternative uh, movement and infiltrated it. Um, so I think, mate, you know, don't be surprised if many of these radio stations and things like that are, or they have people in them that are kind of uh, trying to infiltrate them, um, because, you know, that's most likely the truth, I think. Um, yes, I was mentioning Thomas Sherdlin and uh, recommended him. Um, um, and the whole how I think also um, the this is serving as a distraction, um, absolutely um, to real real pressing pressing issues within within the so-called alternative um, media movement and the so-called you know conspiracy um, theory, which is really an outdated kind of um, title, and I don't know what else to call it. I don't know what to call myself, you know, do I, need, do I call myself a conspiracy theorist anymore, I don't know. But, um, yeah, there, 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 are, there are pressing issues in what people call the five cents reality. That's kind of sounding new age, isn't it, <laughs> already. And what I mean is um, the, um, the dangers of, of vaccines, which I spoke of, and, and uh, poisoning, poisonous food, um, and junk food, and... and um, um, you know, um, chemical trails, um, and, and also the whole transhumanism thing with, um, you know, technology and the uh, threat of the um, microchip and, um, and how our children, are, you know, uh, being brainwashed to society is, is really changing for the worst for most people. These are real, um, you know, pressing issues. It looks, you know, to some, some it looks okay on the surface, but we are being shaped and changed, and most people don't know it. And I spoke about that with Vance Packard's book titled "The People Shapers." I was getting into that eugenics and transhumanism and, and things like that. Um, and and this whole ET uh, kind of um, cult serves as a distraction from that, and that was one of its intentions. And it's working very well because when you say yes, uh, there's you know dangerous stuff in vaccines. Yes. Um, they do want to kind of uh, reduce and cull the population. Yes, um, you know, up um, you know the the ladders of power. Um, you know, there are many psychopaths that run um, the world. You know, uh, they they are there for sure. They always have been, but um, aliens are involved. Um, you know, there's um, it's because of aliens and. Um, they made you, so it's kind of like fate in a way. Uh, I remember Adam Watts saying that. Or uh, even worse, um, there's yes, there's bad aliens, but the good aliens are coming. You know, they're they're going to come and save you. And we, I'm going to really go into this how how basically um, Christianity and uh, and the um, alien um, saviour complex are. are are, are identical. Um, just looking through my notes here. Um, also, the whole yeah, I'll, I'll, the whole channeling thing. Um, people channeling uh, entities and beings. Um, that was all um, going on in the sixties with the Ouija board, in a way. Um, yeah, it's. You know the Ouija board. That was that was a fashion, wasn't it? Channeling and things like that. Uh, I remember so, uh, in a, in a uh, video um, uh, radio talk show I was listening to. I think someone said, "Why don't you just go and get a Ouija board?" <laughs> you know, you might as well just go and do that if you want to channel things. You know, 
you're not you're not really kind of making much of a difference um, in helping people. Um, there, there was one video I watched um, while I'm on the topic of this. It was apparently two ladies who, and I don't know their names, I'm not going to say their names if I, if I knew them, but two ladies, um, apparently they were um, in contact with extraterrestrials, uh, literal extraterrestrials, on, on another, either on another planet or on a mothership, um, flesh and blood extraterrestrials as, as I gather. Um, and um, they were channeling to these two women um, information. And one of the ladies was speaking apparently in the alien language, in the alien tongue. She was making all these silly noises. And then the other lady was translating that because she knew the alien tongue, you know, she knew what she was saying. And then she was telling it back, um, uh, talking to this guy who was um, uh, basically... Um, it was, it was his radio talk show, and these two ladies were his guests. And he was saying, you know, this is such an exciting moment. You know, um, this is this is a real uh, revelation. This is real progress here. We're finally getting somewhere. We've we've come in contact with some benevolent aliens, and these so-called aliens, according to these two ladies, were um, dealing with the corrupt, uh, psychopathic government on the Earth and, and the bad reptilians. They, they were kind of like the clean-up crew, and I'm thinking, oh dear, you know, <laughs> as much as that sounds exciting to believe, come on, uh, you've got to, we've got to keep our um, logic and faculties together here. Um, so I just thought I'd mention that one right on topic. Um, mentioned briefly in the Fabian Society, and their, their um, symbol is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, and um, I don't know much about the Fabian Society, but basically um, their tactics and their philosophy is uh, to really to shape and change society. You, you, they're not about, they don't do it um, overtly, they do it covertly. Um, that's that's their strategy and their philosophy. Hence the wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, you know they they will um, dish out um, information and ideas, um, um, often in the form of, of books and things like that, and plant the seed uh, into people's minds, into the minds of the masses of the general public, uh, and then sh they will shape society like that. And uh, H. G. Wells was a, was a um, a big influence on that, and um, with um, books like War of the Worlds and things like that, he really um, um, influenced society like that, and that's how effective it is. Um, people think their ideas are their own. People think their their revolution is their revolution when it's not, um, and it's the same with this whole alien uh, cult thing. People think that they're onto the truth, and um, most most you know most of them aren't. Um, yeah, so what we see, you know, in a lot of the alternative media is, you know, is um, deliberate, deliberately there to confuse us and lead us astray. Um, but I, I want to look into the psychology of this, of why people choose to believe this and follow this. And this is very important. And we need to try, as best as I can, uh, get to the roots of this. Um, and it's important to really observe yourself. This is this is the secret here. Observe yourself in your own psychology. I think it was uh, Buddha that said, "Always be mindful. Be mindful," and, and that is the solution here. Then you can really look at what's going on around you, and you can stop, step out of yourself, look at yourself, and then look at your behaviour. And ask yourself, well, why are you doing that? What's motivating you there? And that is a seat. That is a, a real key. Uh, analyzing yourself, you know, psychoanalyzing you. Um, very important. Let's look at my notes here. Yeah, you can do that. You're also a winner. Uh, yeah, you can. It allows you to basically to sidestep out the game. And watch it on the side. <clears throat> yeah, because this this whole alien um, conspiracy, uh, this whole new age, it's a new age relig religion basically. Um, 
and it's, it was yeah that was his intention all along a distraction um, and but pe most people are buying into it and you've got to take a good hard look at it all um, and you know you've got um, even famous people actors like uh, Tom Cruise with the um, believing you know with involved in the Scientology cult it's exactly the same thing um, you need to look at Scientology and try and see, see it for what it is yep so the new age um, this this whole system was set in place by the uh, power elite whatever you want to call them world controllers um, they, yeah, they put the idea in, through books and through films as I said um, you know they plant the seed and people do the rest for them. And that, that's the that's the um, sad part. People do the rest for them. That's all they need to do is you know to just fold their arms, sit back, and watch what happens. And you know you look at you look at this all this stuff on the internet, and you think, um, what has changed in people, or or have they changed? Um, as the saying goes, the more the more things change, the more people remain the same. You know, the more the more that events uh, change that and move through and around them, they remain the same. They don't change. Uh, human nature just remains the same. Um, yeah, mo most people are set in the same mindset, the same belief system, um, and they're, they're set in the same belief system that they were at least hundreds of years ago. And this is this is another secret here. Um, that you need to um, understand um, you know this, a lot of these people that are into this whole alien conspiracy thing with uh, you know the, the whole um, alien messiah uh, 300 years ago they'd be waving a bible around talking about Jesus and it's the same thing basically as I'm going to explain to you in um, part 3 see you there